morning everyone rise and shine welcome back to uh, Natalie the beauty diva fabulous over 50 yes this is not my my usual Wednesday but I'm coming on here today because I'm collabing with my beautiful friend Monica McGillicuddy yes um, Monica and I actually um, collabed last year around this time uh, where we did our updates on our uh, retin-a journey she is going to be updating her two-year two-year anniversary and I'm on my 16 16 year anniversary I started when I was 40 so um, we thought we'd bring to you uh, you know the the uh, what what has worked for us and why we why we love it so much now if you do not knew, do not know Monica I urge you to go on over and and say hello she is just a gem of a woman she is she does a little bit of everything on her channel. Uh, she often comes on with her husband, Jay. They are just the most adorable couple. Uh, they're just adorable. They're so much in love. It's so cute to see. I just love it. I love watching their videos, and she does a lot of vlogging. I just love her all around. So if you do not know Monica, what are you waiting for? Make sure to go on over. I'll have a link to her channel down below. So, yes, let's talk about my journey. I have been uh, using Retin-A for 16 years, and um, I've always followed my doctor's instructions. I don't have issues with, uh, with peeling. I, I never really did. Uh, and, I, I, and I think it's because I, I remember my doctor telling me a lot of people wait to peel. It doesn't, you don't have to peel for it to be working. And I can tell you right now, personally, I only use my Retin-A three nights a week. Out of seven nights, three nights a week are Retin-A nights. I don't want to use it more than that because I, I need to give my skin a rest. My doctor has said, said to me, it is a medicine. Don't forget. Don't stress your skin. Some women don't mind walking around with uh, peeling faces uh, seven days a week. I don't, I'm not one of those women. I don't want to, I, I don't want to deal with any of that. And I'm going to share with you what my tips and tricks are to avoid that altogether. So I don't end up getting that. And the number one key, uh, the number one thing that I do is I exfoliate every day. I don't do a massive scrub, uh, like where I scrub my skin right off. I will give myself just a little exfoliation. I just realized I forgot to bring out one product which is my gommage, which is the apple smoothie gommage. I'm going to put the link down below. That is a really nice gommage. Just if you do have dead skin, you just do that and it just it rolls the dead skin off. But the other ones that, that, uh, that, I, that I use, um, I use every day is my uh, Body Mary, my glycolic acid exfoliating cleanser. I love this stuff. It's in a gel, gel form. It's very mild and you can use this every day. Now, the other one that's if, if you are... Uh, if your skin is very sensitive and you you can't use this kind of exfoliation, you can use something like this, which is uh, the DHC, which is also a Korean brand. This is a face, uh, it, it's, it's a powder that you just add a little water and it just gives a very mild exfoliation. So this is excellent as well. Now, if you want something that's a little bit more, um, I, I think a bit, a bit of a more industrial strength, not something that I do every day, but I do uh, once a week, uh, is the Derma E. This one is the, this is the microdermabrasion scrub. This is fabulous. The, the particles are very finely milled. I don't like anything scratching my face. This does not do that. None of these products scratch, scratch the surface. I do not, I, I do not want to do that. But, so that's basically what I do in the mornings. I will wash my face with one of these or the, I, I use the uh, apple smoothie jelly, which I'll, uh, I'll put down, down below. Now, on my nights that I use a Retin-A, this is what I do, is I will wash my face. I will tone it uh, with my Claire's toner. I love this toner. This is a Korean brand. I'll just make sure that all, I always double, I double cleanse and then I tone. After my, uh, once my toner is, uh, uh, after I have toned, what I do is I will go in with an essence. And I'm just going to show you, I, I have different essences that I use, and I'm just going to show you the ones that have been repurchases for me. So my number one is my Time Revolution, uh, the first treatment essence, and this is by Misha. Love this one. 
The other one is by Secret Key, and it's called the Starting Treatment Essence. And the other one that I really like, it's by Catherine Jin, J-I-N-N, -N, and this is the Pro Bio Placenta Essence. Love, love, love this. So I will apply an essence, and then what I will do is I will immediately apply a sheet mask. And the sheet masks, I have a slew of sheet masks, but I'm going to share with you the, the two that I repurchase the most. And these are these three, the Korean 3D masks. I love these masks. They go right down to your neck. Love these. And the other ones that I really like are my pre premium snail tone up hydro gel mask. mask. They come in two pieces. They are wonderful. So I buy these by, by as you see, by the case. So I will put one of these uh, masks on. And I will leave that on for, I don't know, half hour, sometimes an hour, all depending. Then I take that mask off. I will let everything dry, and that's when I will go in with my Retin-A. Now I use two Retin-As. I use the 0.01%, uh, which is the one I use on my face. And I use the 0.05%, which I use on my neck and my decollete, so, and the back of my hands. So that's what I use. I, my 0 0.1 is in, in the washer. I'll put that on, and then the last thing I do is I seal everything in with my cacao oil. Love my cacao oil. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I this is a non-negotiable in my routine. It's got three times the amount of vitamin A over rosehip oil. Absolutely love this. I put this on. My eyelash serum that I use, my, uh, my Care Pros, and I'm good to go. I do not put anything else on. And that's what's been working beautifully for me. Um, what what I was going to say, some, oh, what I did want to say, if you do not have a prescription for Retin-A, you can always purchase it from, I, I'll have the links down below, from Octormo, which is a medical grade website, or um, from Case of Beauty, where I get, I, I get a lot of, uh, I, I, that's where I get my my care pros and my retin-a is where those are the places that I purchase them from I also have discount codes to both places so if that's uh, something that you are interested in like I said it's uh, and one thing about retin-a there is no age uh, there, there's no age to start or uh, you know I, I've heard women ask me they're in their 70s am I too late it's never too late it's never too late and what this what Retin-A does is that it encourages collagen. Yeah, it encourages new collagen. So that's what it does. And you're never too late to encourage new collagen. It may take a little longer the older and the longer we wait. But hey, it's well worth it. So hopefully you enjoyed my tips. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to go on over and visit my beautiful friend, Monica. I mean, her journey has been is quite exceptional because she's been on two years. I've just been on this. This is like second nature for me, 16 years. So it's just second nature for me. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day. Je vous embrasse de Montréal. Soyez prudents, soyez belles, et à la prochaine. Au revoir.